Hi everyone, welcome to our new house. If you're new, my name is Jen. Hello, I'm an author and a book reviewer. And normally I talk about books on this channel or the history of fairy tales or disability and disfigurement. But today I'm just here for a chat. I've got a cup of tea and um, I feel weird filming here because I haven't worked out where I'm gonna be filming yet. This is basically the only little alcovey bit that is set up. I will show you a clip of what is behind the camera right now. It's just a sea of boxes, which is the case for most, most of the house right now because we moved in on Thursday. I'm filming this on Monday. I have been unboxing a lot of things, but I swear that boxes just multiply and I don't really understand it. Also, I feel like I could sleep for a week and I should confess that my brain feels like it is mush and my body hurts. So um, it's gonna be a very chilled video today. I'm gonna be answering your questions. And then later in the week, there is a reading vlog coming, which will be much longer. Um, and actually I can't promise I will be more articulate in that video because it was also filmed over the course of the moving, <laughs> but uh, there will be bookish content. Hopefully I will be a little bit more awake. Um, but today let's just, let's just sit here and talk about the new place. I asked on Instagram if you had questions and you did. So I've written them down and there's no little notebook here and I'm gonna be answering them. Plus I will insert cutaways as I talk showing you some stuff in the house. Um, so just in case you're someone who likes to listen in the background, I'm not gonna always say I will insert a picture of that here cause I'm gonna be doing it so much. Um, so just know that you may wanna be looking at the screen. If you wanna see the things that I'm talking about, maybe you don't, <laughs> that's fine. All right, so questions, there were so many questions of why are you moving again so soon? And I have answered this in a previous video, um, but I don't expect you to have seen all the videos, so I will answer it again. But I find it so funny when people say that because it doesn't feel soon to me at all. Um, so we moved into our flat uh, two and a half years ago, nearly two and a half years ago, just under two and a half years ago. Um, but as we all know, these past two and a half years have not been the usual two and a half years. So that feels like a lifetime ago. So much has changed in that two and a half year period that, um, yeah, it, it baffles my brain. So essentially we wanted to move for a few different reasons. The flat that we were in was a one bedroom flat and we thought that we were gonna be able to make it bigger. I used to mention the attic that's not really an attic and some of you thought that sounded really haunting. It was basically just the eaves of the house that the flat was in and we were hoping that we could convert that and make the flat bigger. But it just turned out for many different reasons that that wasn't going to be possible. Not from like a planning permission kind of way, but there were, there were just so many, I won't bore you. There were so many different factors that it just wasn't gonna be possible. So we couldn't make the flat any bigger. Uh, our situation, like so many other people's situations has changed. We now both work from home. We didn't used to both work from home before. It was just me who worked from home. Um, and, and we're hoping to have a family. So we needed a bigger space anyway regardless of needing office space for both of us. So because we couldn't make it any bigger, we knew we were gonna have to move. Plus we really wanted, though this wasn't a necessity, but if we were gonna move, given the past two and a half years, um, having outdoor space was so high up our wish list um, because of, of me shielding. So that was what we were looking for, that is why we have moved, um, lots of questions about where we've moved to. We are still in London. We did think about leaving London. We were thinking about Cambridge at one point. We were thinking about St Albans and actually several of my friends have now since moved to St Albans. Um, so that would have been nice, but I mean, I'm super happy with where we have moved to. But one of the reasons we had discounted St Albans was because we didn't really know anyone there and now we do. Uh, St Albans is a beautiful place and I'm very glad to now have an excuse to visit it and go and see people. So that is fun. But yeah, we thought about commuter places, even though Mr M is working from home at the moment, that's probably not going to be the case forever, forever. So um, we ended up staying not too far away from where we were before. It's about an hour's walk from where we were 
last time, last time, where, from where our flat was, I told you my brain is not working. It's about an hour's walk from our flat. Oh, and a very important question that was asked a lot is, will Lola still come to visit? Because Lola is my mum-in-law's dog and we used to live right next to her. Now we don't, but it's not too far away. In fact, she was dropped off yesterday for me to look after her for the day. So she has already had a good sniff of the entire place. And it's so funny because she really wasn't sure about it at first. She doesn't like new places at all. I sympathize. Um, but by the end, she was fast asleep on the bed. So I think that she approved and that's important. So that's good. Another question that was asked a lot was, what was it like trying to move slash find a place during a pandemic and whilst shielding and how, I can't read my writing, how long did it take? How long did it take? Um, okay, so it was weird. Um, I think moving is always stressful. This ended up not being as stressful as it may have been because the place that we moved into was chain free, which made things a lot simpler. Um, we started looking probably since the beginning of 2021, but seriously looking since the summer. Um, but when we first started viewing, we weren't even viewing places in the flesh. So estate agents were all doing it differently. But for the most part, at the beginning, we were given virtual tours of places, which obviously is not it's not enough really but it does help discount places i think you can you can tell okay i definitely don't want to move there but i don't think it's a enough of a a viewing experience to decide whether or not you definitely want to move somewhere so we de we saw some online and then later and actually this was always the case until we found this place um viewings were always uh, not open house so it was an an appointment basis all masked estate agents normally stood outside um, and we just went inside and we weren't allowed to touch anything, which was also weird because that was the case when we viewed this place, which meant that we didn't look at any of the appliances. We didn't look inside any of the cupboards. There were things that we didn't even know were here. I mean, the process of buying somewhere is kind of just nuts when you think about it, that really you view it for 10, 15 minutes, and it's the biggest commitment you're ever gonna make in your life, and you decide in that moment, oh yeah, definitely, I'm definitely gonna buy. I mean, make it make sense, it doesn't make sense. And if you're not familiar with the buying process in the UK, well, actually specifically England, because Scotland is more sensible than England, um, it is very precarious of your, the, the buyer. Nothing is really confirmed until the day that you get the keys, because when you exchange, that protects the seller not us so they could have still pulled out right to the very last moment and when chains are involved it can all come absolutely crashing down at the last minute so i didn't believe that we were moving in until the day that i got the keys i didn't start packing until um we exchanged which was a few days before we completed i just didn't believe that it was happening <laughs> at all and i'm very glad that it did but i don't think my brain has even processed that it's real and um, we're here so that's strange, but I think that's probably something that everybody feels. So what was the process like? Um, we viewed this place early December and we didn't end up getting it. So we put in an offer and the offer was not accepted. Um, or rather, that sounds harsher. Someone else um, offered more money than we did. So we didn't end up getting it. And we were absolutely heartbroken because it's weird when you start viewing places at first. You know kind of what you're looking for, but it's more... I think that you know what you're not looking for. You can tell what you don't like rather than something that you love until you see it. You know, making a list of things that we were looking for was one way of narrowing down areas and particular properties. We were also looking um, to be in catchment areas for state schools locally um, because we want to be in this place for at least 10 years, hopefully, touch, touch wood. This is not wood, where is wood? Here's wood, skirting board. Um, we wanna be here for a long time. So we were looking at all, all kinds of factors and we'd seen several houses that we thought, oh yeah, okay. And we had loved one particular house which went before we could even view it. Um, and then we came to this place and as soon as we walked, I know it's so cliched and I'm so sorry, but when we walked through the door, we thought, this is our house. And I didn't believe people when they said that, you know, that when you enter a property, you will know, you will know that you love it. But as corny as it sounds, that is how we felt about this place. We absolutely loved it. It, it ticked all of our boxes. I think every single one of them, um, it has stuff that needs fixing. And I'll, I'll talk about that because there were questions about that too. But 
it's just such a lovely, it's a lovely place. Um, but we didn't get it. As I said, we were outbid and we were so gutted. And actually being outbid in the end was maybe good because when we heard that, we knew how much we wanted it. We knew how sad we felt. So we kept looking for properties. This went on until February and we were still looking at places and hadn't found somewhere we loved as much at all. Um, and then we got a call from our estate, I say our estate agent, the estate agent works for the people who were selling this place, but she was really great and um, was really lovely with us. So she called us and said, look, the sale has fallen through. It's nothing to do with the house. It's the personal circumstances of the people who were gonna be buying it. Are you still interested? And we were like, yes. Yes, we absolutely are. So by the next day, it had been agreed that we were going to um, purchase the house instead. So that was early February and we completed early April. So in the end, it was quite quick. But I think what I was saying before is that when I look back on that time period of that six months before we first viewed this place, it may not feel like a really long time, but when you don't know what the end point is, and especially given, as the question said, like shielding and all of that stuff, time has felt so weird recently um that it definitely felt much longer than it actually actually took and the next question was will you do a house tour and no um i won't I, but i've never done that for anywhere that i have lived so um i don't think that that will probably be surprising but as you will know if you have watched my channel for a while you will see the spaces that you occupy i just mean i'm not going to do a walkthrough of the whole place in one go because that just feels really weird to me for privacy reasons. So um, you will definitely see rooms in the house. Um, and I do have DIY projects that I want to document, kind of as an accountability thing to myself as well, but also I think it's fun. I did a little bit of that in the flat when we first moved in before, before pandemic hit and um, I could go out and buy paint and look at furniture and all of that stuff. I did decorate the hallway. It was the one thing that I managed to do I had to lie, I painted the whole flat white and then decorated the corridor and then that was it because we were just um, stuck inside. So I am eager to paint here. I wanna do the living room. Uh, this may be another question actually. This is another, I'm probably answering two questions at once, um, but I want to do the living room and my office space and I'll probably document some of that. Um, so yeah. Next question is, are there any beautiful plants outside your window? There were so many questions like this as well because in our old flat there was a vine that you may remember that grew up outside our bedroom window and it changed colour all year round and was really beautiful. Um, yeah, there are some nice trees on the street which I can't really show you because it looks out onto other people's houses. Um, but in our garden there is this beautiful um, bush which we're actually going to have to cut back quite a lot. It's not even ours, I think it's next door's, but it is overgrown. Um, the garden is really lovely, I love it, um, but it hasn't been looked after at all, really, because um, the place had been rented out before we bought it for quite a long time, so it just has been wild and free, which I, I quite love. It's also quite handy because, this was another question, I'm just answering lots in one go, um, the garden is north facing, which means it doesn't get much sun at all. So it's handy to see what actually has grown when left to its own devices, because we're gonna have to be very careful with anything we plant um, because it doesn't get much sun. And if anyone has any plants that they would recommend that we could plant in the garden, if you know more than I do, do leave that in a comment down below because we will be researching and learning, but always happy to receive advice on that. Next question was, what is your most exciting change from your old to your new place having outdoor space? That is definitely the most exciting thing. Um, I was gonna say having stairs. Uh, my arthritis doesn't love the stairs, but the stairs are very beautiful. So I'm very happy to have those. Um, oh yeah, and that was, I didn't even, finish the how was the moving process i'm sorry i'm just not answering things in a very linear way today um, but the moving process itself the reason we're so exhausted is because i couldn't find any man with a van company who would agree to wear a mask because the mask mandates have been lifted so um my uncle who's currently living in london with my aunt for a few months had very kindly said that he would drive a van so we hired a van obviously he would wear a mask um and as did we, and we did the move ourselves. So, so much lifting, because we were on a first floor flat as well. So 
the day that we moved, my phone said that I'd done, it was about 130 flights of stairs carrying boxes um, with arthritis. That is uh, tricky and my knees are still recovering. I couldn't go up and down stairs for a few days. I had to do it on my on my bum because I, I couldn't walk up them. My knees were just like, no, they powered through on the day and that was amazing. And then afterwards, since then I have been uh, paying for it uh, slightly. So yeah, the move was very physically <laughs> exhausting, but on the plus because it was my uncle who was driving the van, we weren't dealing with any other people. So it was probably less emotionally draining than it would have been less stressful in that respect, just more physically taxing. Next question was, have you chosen an office slash writing space yet? I have, I do have an office and I will insert a clip of that here and I do want to decorate it. I do want to paint it. Um, it does have some wood paneling in, which I think I'm probably not gonna paint because if I did that, I would probably need to strip the paint and I do not have the energy to do that right now. So I might just paint the non wood paneled walls. Um, I haven't decided what color yet. I really don't know. Um, but that is something that I will be thinking about in the next few weeks. Oh, there were lots of questions about are we still near good walks and are we near any woods? We are actually right next to some woods, which is uh, kind of bizarre that we moved from somewhere that had woods at the end of the street to another place that has woods very close by, but we do have woods close by. Um, they are lovely and at the moment they are covered in bluebells, which is just, just delightful. What will you be buying first? Okay, so we need to buy a sofa, but it's that catch 22 of, I don't know what color we're gonna paint the living room yet, so we need to figure that out before we buy the sofa. Um, but we need to buy a sofa, because at the moment we just have a bean bag, which is, uh, I mean, fine, it's fun, but I, I really would like a sofa to sit on, just somewhere to relax, that would be great. And we have a bed arriving maybe next week. At the moment we're sleeping on a blow up mattress and it's super comfy actually. I will uh, link the brand down below just in case anyone is in the market for uh, a blow up mattress. I think it's gonna be really handy for us for um, any guests in the future. So we're sleeping on it right now. Our bed is being delivered. We also have a fridge coming this week. At the moment we only have a tiny little mini fridge that we're using, which to be honest is mostly just full of my medication. So there is not much room for food in it. So I am very excited for the fridge arriving on Thursday. Very excited for that. But yeah, sofa, bed, fridge, they're the main things. Everything else we're just gonna have to kind of figure out as we go. Someone said, what is your favorite room in the house? I think the kitchen at the moment, but I think that's probably because it's the one room that has everything in it apart from the fridge. Um, as I said, I spent a whole day unpacking everything for the kitchen and putting it away. And something that I love in the kitchen is that there is a, a corner cupboard and you can pull everything out. It's got this really smooth mechanism, which means you can see everything in the cupboard. And often corner cupboards that have revolving things in them, they're kind of clunky, they don't work that well. That was certainly the case in our old flat. Um, but this is just amazing. I just love it. It may even be my favorite thing. Um, but I have unpacked everything and everything looks really lovely. Again, I will insert some clips here. But um, yeah, I'm loving the kitchen. We need to get a table for the kitchen because we don't have that yet. Um, and the fridge, obviously. Do you have any major changes planned? Um, in the long run, yes, but not right now. Um, we do need to get something sorted out. There is some damp that was flagged on the survey. So we did an independent damp survey too. It's nothing that is super intense, but there are things that need to be looked at to make sure that that doesn't get worse. It is an old house. In fact, one of the questions was, how old is the house? It's an Edwardian house. So it was built between 1900 and 1910. Um, so it it is old. She, she has lived and she uh, continues to live and she has, oh, one of the, my favorite features of the house is the floorboards. They are uh, old wood flooring and I, love them very, very much. But uh, yeah, with the wood flooring, with it being old, um, just a, a lot of different factors means that damp is very likely to occur and has occurred. So there are things that we can do to mitigate that. So that's probably top of our list. But as for like huge structural things, nothing right now. We just wanna live in the space and see how we use it. And maybe we'll do stuff in the future, but not right this second.
Mm, I love this question. All houses have quirks. What are some things that you love slash have found funny? And what are some what the hell things that you have discovered? Um, some things that are funny, as I mentioned, I love the floorboards, but there have been some really bad repair work done to these floors. Some just have had bits chopped off and, and added and they're very rickety in places. So that's something that we need to look into. Um, the old wooden doors of the rooms are lovely, but again, there's some strange things that have gone on with those. The door to my office seems to have the bottom of it just missing and I don't really understand why. And as for the what the hell moments, um, there are just weird repairs that have been done to the walls, I think maybe because of damp or um, I don't know. I mean, some of them look like people have punched holes in the walls and then they have just really clumsily filled those in, not even sanded them down and then have painted them a different color to the rest of the wall. I don't really get it. That's also something that um, we're gonna have to look at. So I think that's really the main what the hell moment. Oh, and also the whole place was rewired but they left all the old plug sockets in so they're just hanging around so it looks like there's loads of plug sockets in every room but only half of those work because the others are on a different circuit entirely i don't really understand that either <laughs> oh very important question how are you going to organize your books well as you can see there is one bookcase here this is my fairy tale bookcase it's the one that used to be next to my desk in our old flat the rest of the bookcases are upstairs one of them is in my office and the others are in what will touch wood one day be a nursery um so they're just in there for now what we do want to do i will uh, insert a cutaway there are some uh i guess alcoves i'm going to call them alcoves in the living room between what used to be chimney breasts the chimneys have actually been removed so what we may do is put fireplaces back in at the moment those are weird little indents which are kind of cool for putting uh, vases and stuff in we may put a fireplace back in not a working fireplace because we don't care about that but putting in an old edwardian fireplace but in between the chimney breasts there are indents where we can put in shelves um, so rather than buy new bookcases we may just add shelving that may be the plan we haven't really decided yet we have time we'll figure it out Oh, there is a question saying, when do you expect this place will feel like home? I honestly don't know. I was speaking to Jean about this because she recently moved houses too and she said about a month. So ask me again in a month and I'll tell you whether or not it feels like home. I currently feel like I am on holiday with all of my stuff. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of how it feels. I think maybe once we start painting, um, once our sofa arrives, when we've got an actual bed, um, yeah, may maybe then. At the moment, it just feels a little bit weird. Not bad weird, good weird, but it just feels a, a bit odd. And then the final question was, what have you cooked since moving in? A very important question. Um, I couldn't sleep the a couple of days after we moved in, so I got up at four in the morning and made hot cross buns. Don't ask me why, I just did. Um, and also last night I made lasagna, which was nice. Our oven is good for baking. That was a very important thing that I needed to discover. You know that all ovens are different, but this one has been good for baking. I haven't encountered any issues. In fact, there have been no issues with appliances, which has been great. Like the boiler is working. I mean, I, sh I feel like I'm jinxing myself, but the boiler is working, the washing machine is working, and the oven has been great. So fingers crossed that that keeps being the case. I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna make myself another cup of tea because this tea is now cold. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I realize I keep looking around in this video because I just keep looking at this house to make sure it's still here, you know, <laughs> that, that, that it's real. Um, yes, I will be back with another video middle of this week, which will be a reading vlog, which will show some of the moving process. Not a lot of it because to be honest, it was difficult enough moving without filming it too. But um, there were there will be some very satisfying unpacking montages, at least I hope so. I haven't actually imported the footage yet. If you are new and you would like to subscribe to this channel, that would be lovely. And if you enjoy my content and would like to consider supporting me on Patreon, that's always very lovely too. Link to that is in the description box down below. I will love and leave you and I will see you again very soon. Sending lots of love. Bye.